So I wanted to talk about a possible balance that may happen after the YCS in April, which is from April 8th through 10th. And dear God, these changes need to happen. And Konami also said that within a few months, we would get a list. So it's been a few months. Let's dive on into it, shall we? Be sure to smash the ever-living crap out of that subscribe button so that we can get to 700 and eventually 1,000 subscribers. We're only 15 subs away from 700, and I really would love to see that at 700, for God's sake. I feel like I've been saying it for way too damn long. Smash it so we can get there. So, let's talk about a possible ban list. If you haven't seen my Jim Sterling video parody that I did where I took his Bethesda is Bethetic video and I like slapped Konami's logo on it. One of the uh, things I was bashing on was I took a screenshot of the ban list that said, um, or the, the part on the ban list that said the next update will be in a few months um, because I just think that that's completely idiotic. So to me, it's been a few months and typically ban lists we've noticed have been every three to four months. Um, so it's safe to say that we will have a balance at some point in April after the YCS, or if not, some point in May near the end of the regional season. So let's get some of the obvious things out of the way first. And I will say this, uh, that beach hat right here, you're going to see me wearing this and riding my ham board if Anaconda and Mystic Mine get banned. <laughs> Look, Anaconda and Mystic Mine, I was thinking about this earlier today. I feel like they have VFD syndrome because if you look back at like VFD for like three or four ban lists, people were saying VFD needs to be banned. B VFD is toxic. It needs to be banned. Then we get a ban list that brings back three cards to three Necroz of Unicor, Multi Faker, and uh, Ulti Canahawk. And people are just like, where the hell is VFD? Like, this is some baby back bullshit. I don't know what the hell Konami's thinking. I get that they want to push fusion mechanics, but especially with the Albaz structure deck just right around the corner, um, Anaconda needs to be hit. And the fact, too, keep in mind that the card's not even at one at this point. It's still at three. Think about that for a minute. You can play multiple copies if you're afraid of hand traps. You know, if you're playing, like, Dino FTK, and for whatever reason you want to hit Anaconda... Well, what if the opponent is playing multiple Anacondas? Now, obviously, 99% of players are not playing multiple Anacondas, but it's the fact that you have the ability to. If you're worried about Ash, or if your deck just really relies on Anaconda or something, then you can just play two Anaconda. First one gets Ash, next turn you make another one. Also, Anaconda doesn't say that it can't be used as a link material. So... You could just go, okay, well, my Anaconda didn't go through, survive the next turn, summon a monster, use that Anaconda to make another Anaconda. Like, obviously, that never comes up, but it's just something that is a possibility that just should not be a possibility. So Anaconda needs to go. It's it's just, it's the obvious thing in the room. You know, I know it needs to be banned. You know it needs to be banned. Your neighbor next door who doesn't play Yu-Gi-Oh! knows it needs to be banned. Ban the card. Next up, also, I have... Mystic Mine. And don't worry, we're going to be talking about Scythe and Dagda in just a moment. <laughs> uh, but Mystic Mine, look, the, the card needs to be banned. The, I cannot tell you how many games I have clearly won. Like, just mathematically, you know, the opponent has one card in hand, and it's, you know, I'll even use my Sky Striker example. I was playing against Sky Striker like a month ago. Homeboy was playing Mystic Mine in his main deck. It was game one. And... He has like a multi-roll in his hand. He's got one card in hand. I'm sitting on like M-Pin, a statue. I've I've banished his ray from his grave with DD Crow. Like this dude's got nothing. Homeboy top decks Mystic Mind and I lose because of it. Like why should a single card have the ability to completely help you win a game when you do not deserve to win that game? I mean, it's, it's like Yadagarasu all over again. Not that bad, obviously, but still the fact remains just getting pecked by that bird, even if you have five cards in your hand, if you don't have a way to put a body on the board to block the Yadagarasu attack, then you were just screwed. You know, like, it's similar to Mystic Mind. If you don't have a way to stop the Mystic Mind, or if you're not main decking back row hate, then you're just going to lose the game. And of course, people are going to say, well, just play the Feather Duster, play the Cosmic. Well, if you're only main decking one Feather Duster and no other back row hate, and the opponent curse seals or dark bribes or just negates your, your Feather Duster, what have you, 
then you lose the game, you know? Like, whether they're playing Mystic Mind Burn or not, Mystic Mind Burn especially because they're going to be playing shit like Curse Seal, Dark Bribe, Judgment, the whole gambit. But the fact that a, a deck like that is still alive after so long, it, it needs to go. It's, it's an overall unhealthy card. Like, what it balances out is not equivalent to how busted it is, and it just needs to go. I'm so sick of Mystic Mind, and I know a lot of other people are. Now, let's talk about Scythe and Dagda. I've seen some people debating this a few different ways. Some people say Scythe needs to be banned. Some say Dagda needs to be banned. And then others are saying both Scythe and Dagda should be banned. I saw one person talking about how, um, basically, if you just eliminate Scythe, then you still have, like say, something like Lancia or Morale Attack. Because, you know, with Morale Attack, you can special... If you special summon during the opponent's turn, then you get a free pop. If you play out Lancia, then you contribute it, and then cards can't be banished. So you still have these other broken artifacts that you can play. Like, I even remember playing Artifact Cosmo years ago when that was, like, a Tier 1 deck. And I would, like, all the time, play Sanctum, get out Scythe, and just extra deck lock the opponent. And then they're sitting with, like, a tuner and a non-tuner they just can't do anything with. It, it was really good back then with just Sanctum, and it's even better now with Dagda. I feel like what should happen is that Dagda needs to be banned, and if Scythe is still a problem, then they just need to ban Scythe outright. Because the fact that Dagda is a monster in your extra deck that you basically always have access to. That, in turn, always gives you access to Scythe from your deck, right? Now, you can make the argument, well, it's because DPE can pop the Scythe and whatever that makes it broken. That is true. And I feel like at some point, eventually, DPE and Dragoons will get hit at some point. I mean, just look at the, them reprinting, uh, I almost said DPE, Dragoons in the Pharaoh's Tin in September. I mean, that's a third print. You could argue a second because it was a Starlight Rare, and that may not really be a real reprint, but regardless, it's another printing. So I think at some point, Dragoons and DPE will be on the chopping block, whether that's a year from now or five years from now. I think it is eventually going to happen. Um, I don't feel like Scythe would be as much of a problem if DPE wasn't a card, but it is a card, and I think we can at least kind of neuter that a bit by eliminating stuff like Verte, uh, eliminating stuff like Dagda or even Scythe uh, and going from there. I don't think Sanctum is going to get hit. People are saying that Sanctum needs to be hit. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, someone gave me a hot take a few days ago and said Barrier Statue of the Stormwinds needs to be fucking hit. I don't know what they were smoking because that's not happening. Um, Flunderies is not that broken of a deck that Barrier Statue of the Stormwinds needs to be banned. It's a one of. And, you know, at worst, depending on what deck you're playing, like, okay, you got to go to your battle phase and swing into the barrier statue and then, you know, make your board there in main phase two. But, I mean, okay, some builds are playing too. Like, I've been testing too, and I actually really like it. Um, but barrier statue of the Stormwind's not getting banned. Just please stop. <laughs> um, that's really all I think is going to be banned. That I mean, that, that's really all I think should be banned. Um, when it comes to things being limited and semi-limited, I feel like the TCG may follow the OCG's route of hitting the Brave Engine, like putting Rite of Aramiser and Water Enchantress to two. I don't know if they're going to do that on this list or maybe the next list because the Brave stuff is fairly new. It was just released in Grand Creators. But I think in some way, shape, or form, it needs to be touched. You know, Konami, I feel, doesn't like happening decks in the meta that are like based, aka badass sexy engine deck as we call it on the channel, where you have, it's just basically 60 cards of good shit dot deck, where just it's all these generic engines that are really good that just make these broken ass boards. I think that they really want to scale that back a bit. Um, so I do think that we could see some sort of hit to the Brave Engine, either not on this list, definitely the next balance that we would get within three to four months time. I don't think that they're going to be hitting Albaz in any way. I don't feel like they're going to be hitting Alubar in any way. Like, the stuff is just too new. Um, we can maybe see Nadir Servant go to one, but I really don't think so because it's not really being played all that much. It's not that much of a pressure of a card. I've seen people saying Skill Dream needs to go back to one. I guess. I don't I don't know. I really like Skill Dream at three, but I also understand that it's kind of toxic at one, or at, at three, excuse me. So I understand where some people say it needs to go to one. Um, but other than that, I mean, once we kind of set these, put these cards in some sort of box and get them banned or limited, whatever, what else really needs to be hit? I can't really think of anything 
that could be hit because it's it's fairly old and not so new. Um, my my little personal favorite would be to see Trickstar Light Stage come back to three and have Trickstar full power, but I don't think that that's going to happen. Um, the Dino F FTK that's now a thing. I think that we could see some sort of hit to that because you know an FTK gets discovered, Konami is pretty quick to eliminate it. I don't know if that means that they're going to hit Lithogasm and just reban it, um, or if they're going to just straight up ban Bish Balkan. Um, because I was looking at a combo video today and I'm like. They bring out the Bish Balkan, all you gotta do is Nibiru the thing. But of course, that goes back to the argument of, oh, just have the out. <laughs> so, uh, these are just my thoughts on um, what could happen on the ban list. Um, you know, with, with a deck like based, it's kind of hard to hit it and talk about specific hits other than things like DPE and the Scythe Lock and what have you. Just because that it plays so many generic things that it's like, you know, where are you gonna hit it to really eliminate the deck as an issue? Um, you know, like, I saw one guy saying you need to ban Rocks Rose Dragon and ban Basil Rose Shoot or whatever it's called. And it's like, what? Like, hello? <laughs> that that's random. Um, I guess another thing you could hit is like Black Garden because that's been played in some builds. Uh, that's been played in some FTKs in the past. Black Garden's always been a ruling issue too. I don't know if they'd really do that though. That just seems really out of left field. Um, anyways, you guys, these are my thoughts. Please, let me know in the comments below. Did I miss anything? Am I just completely, you know, blanking out on something that I'm just not thinking of at this point? I really tried to include a lot of the decks, and I think really just the big issues right now is the Adventure Engine, DPE, depending on your area of Yu-Gi-Oh! in the world, maybe Dragoons is a problem. And other than that, I mean, is there really other any other issues in the meta right now? I mean, maybe they'll hit something like Prosperity or Extra because they hit Desires, but I don't know. That seems kind of hard to say. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for all the support, and I will see you in the next video.